fella. Welcome to Hulufar Island. My name's Barnabas Worley. Uh, Mayor Barnabas Worley, to be precise. What brings you here? A cannon! It must have been messing around with those pirates. Well, any enemy of Sprocket and his gang is a friend of the island. We're trying to contact a friend of ours, but I can't seem to catch a signal. I don't suppose you have a radio tower we could use? Sorry, miss. We had a supply beacon, but someone vandalized it last night. But if you help us repair it, I'm sure you'd be able to contact your friend. Really? Well, that is good news. Just climb to the top of each wind turbine and give the old boat crank a turn. Oh, dang, Nabby. This is the third time this year these old wind turbines have stopped working. It's sabotage, I tell you. Someone's been messing with my equipment. Problem is, these here wind turbines are about the only thing keeping the juice flowing through the island. No juice, no beacon. No beacon, no supplies. You follow? Anyways, my brother-in-law was supposed to come back and help repair these turbines, but he probably went fishing instead. <laughs> Think you could help a feller out. I'd do it myself, but I... Well, I don't much care for heights. Oh, I'd sure appreciate it, stranger. Couple of good turns on that bolt crank up there ought to get her going again. Good luck. Some shady character who's been hanging around the beach. Tall feller. Annoying parrot. I always see him palling around with them pirates. Dark Water. Sorry, stranger. We don't talk about him around these parts on account of the curse. Well, yeah, the curse of the undead. Although, I'm not exactly sure how you can be undead. I suppose it just means alive. Oh, now I've gone and confused myself. them wind turbines yet? Well, hello there, young feller. Run it any more pirates? The bedrock of this island is filled with trillium ore. It creates too much electromagnetic interference for most ships. That beacon's our only way of hailing them. Oh, that, that's just something Darkwater was working on. We sealed it off after he was killed. Best put it out of your mind. Mutiny, I suspect. Legend has it, Slag dropped anchor in Morrow Caverns and killed anybody who refused to call him captain, including old Darkwater. <laughs> Folks around here still like to scare the tourists with ghost stories about that place. Lousy low down good for nothing vandals. When's that man gonna crack down on these bumps? Some wise guy uncoupled the flipping energy conductor from the supply beacon. How am I supposed to fix it without power? <sighs> Guess I'll just have to take lunch. Appreciate the offer, kid, but we can't do nothing till the power is restored. Lucky for me, I'm in the union. <laughs>
small galaxy, ain't it? Ah, oh, too small! Oh. So, what brings you to Murder Graw, friend? Well, what are the odds? I'm here for a little relaxation myself. Ah, low. Ah. Well, if you ever find yourself in the market for a slightly used VersaBolt, you just come find your old pal. Ah, no names! No names! Ah. Well, what do you know? I happen to have one right here, procured by perfectly legal means, of course. Ah, with a crowbar! How about we make ourselves a deal? Here you go. I'll see you around, partner. Son, can't you see I'm off the clock? Hey, you found one. Nice going, kid. Local Beacon Union 319 thanks you for your charitable contribution. Here we go, just put this on here and... <laughs> See if you can give it a good turn there, champ. I do it myself, but I'm on break. Union rules, you understand. Can it tell me where they are? Well, sure, if I have a Fulcrum star to activate it. Here, I took the liberty of borrowing this from our archives. They are pages from Darkwater's personal journal. Cabin's Log, the 3rd of August. The trip to the Bravus star cluster was fraught with savings. Not only did I find a great place for cheap crawl cobbler, but I also met a mysterious race called the Zuni. Friendly little creatures they are, can manipulate time and space to their will. Their leader gave me a fulcrum star I can use to talk to them with once I return to Polaris. It's worth a fortune, but I wouldn't part with it for all the bolts in Meridian City. The only worry is the miserable first mate slag. It's only a matter of moons for he tries to pillage me property. But I've taken steps to defend it well into the afterlife using an ancient terrachnoid incantation and a coupon for one free curse at the Hula Far Magic Emporium. I'll forever bind me soul to me body, so that I may protect the Fulcrum Star. He who disturbs me shall disturb the entire crew. This I swear. And that star ought to be locked away with the rest of Darkwater's treasure. Find that star, and you'll find your friend. Ratchet, I think I'm getting a signal. Rusty Pete to Lumbax. I have crucial information about Captain Darkwater. I'm dropping anchor at the Hole of Far Pier. Over and, and out. Hello there, fella. I thought you were meeting your friend over by the pier. Ah, yes, the Fulcrum Star. It's not actually a star. It's a stabilized, reusable black hole preserved in Furian crystal. It allows astronomers to peer across distances never before thought imaginable. 
If the Zone were the last thing Darkwater was looking at, that star will show them. Darkwater was known for being fire, iron fisted, and above all, cheap. It was said he pillaged a million boats without ever spending a penny. Instead, hiding his loot in a place called Darkwater Cove. Of course, no one's ever seen the island, and it's not on any map I've ever encountered. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know much about the Zone. Darkwater spoke of little creatures who once possessed the power to unmake existence. He referred to them as friends, but I suspect he was only biding his time. See, according to legend, the Zone lived in a world of untold riches. Riches, I said. That's the kind of word that makes even the most rusty of pirate mouths salivate. Darkwater Cove is as much of a myth as this curse my constituents keep talking about. A dark place guarded by devious puzzles and booby traps. According to the legend, only Darkwater himself can pass through safely. Well, it's about time, mate. I've been radioing you all, all night. So have you found the Obsidian Eye yet? Yeah, but it doesn't work. Darkwater hid the Fulcrum Star. Not surprising. Cheap old Bean Rake never did trust anyone. Of course, we were trying to kill him at the time. Good news is, every pirate worth their salt keeps a map to their buried treasure. A map? Well, where is it? Well, that's the bad news. It's probably still with his body over in Morrow Caverns. Tell you what, mate, why don't you let me help you find it? <laughs> What? Can't a pirate who's never told the truth in his life go blankly out of his way to help the Lombax who killed his best friend and captain? <laughs> Great! And I have just the pirate to help us! Ta-da! Ah! I call it Slag on a Stick. Rerouted his memory banks to his vocal processor so he remember anything he's looking at. Now climb aboard, mateys, and put your faith in good old Captain Slag. <laughs> 